the conflicts and wars between Israel and Gaza are as old as Israel itself. Gaza is one of the oldest cities in the world, and as a Philistine city became an enemy of Israel as soon as Israel entered into Canaan. In this video we will explore the history of Gaza and the history of the relationship between Gaza and Israel. What did the Bible and archaeology tell us about Israel's ancient foe? Do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more intriguing insights into archaeological finds from Bible places and Bible times. Gaza, a city with a history spanning an impressive 5,000 years, holds the title of being one of the oldest cities on earth. Its prime location along the Mediterranean coastal route, connecting North Africa and the Levant, bestowed upon it a pivotal role in ancient trade networks. This coastal gem was a busy trade hub in southern Palestine, a crucial hub on the spice trade route navigating the Red Sea. Early Gaza settlements were found back at Tel Es Sakin and Tel El Ijil, where trade with Egypt thrived, only to decline as time swept on. Gaza's importance surged during the reign of Tuthmosis III, flourishing as a significant stop on the Syrian-Egyptian caravan route. The city etched its name in the 14th century BC Amarna letters as Azadi, and later served as Egypt's administrative capital in Canaan. In the time that the people of Israel entered Canaan under Joshua, Philistines were living in Gaza. Judges 1 says that Joshua captured Gaza. So, from the very beginning of the relationship between Israel and Gaza, war existed. And the name of the people living in Gaza? Philistines. Philistines is the word that gave us the modern word Palestinians and Palestina. This is how it happened. In the year 135 AD a Roman emperor made a political decision. After Rome quelled three formidable Jewish rebellions within the preceding half-century, a strategic decision was made to alter the very fabric of the land. The ancient province of Judea was given a new identity, Palestine, or Syria-Palestina in Roman parlance. This change was engineered to sever the historical ties between the land and its Jewish inhabitants. Inspired by ancient history, the name was derived from the biblical moniker Philistia, and it was now used for the entire region. This transformation echoed the Greek name for the land from Gaza to Egypt, as the Greek already named that part of the country Palestine. Interestingly, the Bible calls different ethnic groups Philistines. The Bible already has Philistines in the time of Abraham, and living in Gaza in the time of Joshua. These Philistines were Canaanites. But later another ethnic group living in the same area is called Philistines. That the Philistines from Genesis and Joshua are a different group from the Philistines later in the Bible, is testified by the fact that the earliest Bible translation, the Septuagint, uses two different names. Until Joshua it uses Philistines. Afterwards it uses a word that can be translated as foreigners. Archaeology tells us what happened. The Sea Peoples were a group of ancient maritime raiders and invaders who are believed to have originated from various regions in the eastern Mediterranean. They are mentioned in ancient Egyptian inscriptions and other historical records. The Sea Peoples are known to have disrupted and invaded several civilizations during the Late Bronze Age, or on the 12th century BC. One of the regions the Sea Peoples targeted was Canaan, which included present-day Gaza. These invasions and disruptions led to the movement and settlement of different groups, including the Philistines. The Philistines are considered to be one of the Sea Peoples who arrived and settled in the coastal areas of Canaan. Contemporary archaeological findings affirm that the Philistines stood out from their neighboring cultures. As they arrived on the eastern Mediterranean shores around the early 12th century BC, distinct features set them apart. Their pottery bore striking similarities to the ancient Greek style, they utilized an Aegean script rather than a Semitic one, and notably, their dietary habits included the consumption of pork. An article in the journal Science Advances, stemming from the remarkable discovery of a cemetery in 2016 at the ancient Philistine city of Ashkelon on Israel's southern coast, delves into the genetic roots and impact of the Philistines. These findings are expected to also be applicable to Gaza. They suggest their origins lie outside the region, confirming previous notions. However, intriguingly, the research also indicates that these culturally distinct outsiders began intermarrying with the local populations in the area. The DNA of several human remains from the cemetery was researched, and found that the most plausible origin of the Philistines points to Greece, Crete, and Sardinia. This is in line with what the prophet Amos says in the Bible, that the Philistines were from Kaftar, which most Bible scholars believe refers to Crete. 
the Philistines established themselves as a dominant culture in the southern coastal region of Canaan, including Gaza. The Philistine cities, collectively referred to as the Philistine Pentapolis, were five major urban centers that formed the core of Philistine civilization. Each city played a crucial role in the Philistine culture, politics, and interactions with Israel. Next to Gaza these were Ashkelon, Ashdod, Ekron, and Gath. Ashkelon and Ashdod nowadays are modern cities in Israel, built in the approximate area of the old cities. The new group of Philistines that lived in Gaza and the other Philistine cities, was continuously at war with Israel. During the time of Samson the Philistines had control over the Israelites. Samson, known for his extraordinary strength and distinctive feats, emerged as a judge and leader of the Israelites during a time of Philistine oppression. In retaliation for Philistine wrongdoings, Samson initiated a series of bold actions. Notably, he set fire to Philistine fields using foxes with torches tied to their tails and single-handedly slew 1,000 Philistine soldiers with a donkey's jawbone. These actions intensified the tensions between the Israelites and the Philistines, escalating the conflict. Samson's life ended as a prisoner in Gaza. After being captured and blinded in the city, Samson demonstrated one last act of strength by bringing down a Philistine temple, killing numerous inhabitants of Gaza and himself. Later, a significant early battle occurred during the time of Samuel the prophet. The Israelites faced a devastating defeat at Aphek. The Philistines, with their superior military might, captured the Ark of the Covenant, which was a major loss for the Israelites. Only after God started to punish the Philistines, the Ark was returned to Israel, with a gift of five golden tumors and five golden mice placed next to the Ark. One of these tumors and mice represented the Lord of Gaza who acknowledged he could not beat the God of Israel. After the time of Samuel, Saul, the first king of Israel, played a crucial role in the conflicts between the Israelites and the Philistines from the five cities including Gaza. His reign marked a significant period of struggle and military engagements between the two peoples. The Philistines were a constant threat to the Israelites, particularly in the region of the central coastal plain, where the Philistines were settled. One of the notable early battles during Saul's reign was the Battle of Michmash. The Israelites, led by Saul and his son Jonathan, faced the Philistine forces. The Israelites were initially outnumbered and outgunned, but through a daring night raid by Jonathan and his armor-bearer, they managed to create confusion among the Philistines, leading to their victory. The climactic battle during Saul's reign was the Battle of Mount Gilboa. Saul and his sons faced the Philistine forces in this battle, which resulted in a devastating defeat for the Israelites. Saul's sons were killed in the battle, and Saul himself was critically wounded and eventually took his own life. David followed Saul as king of Israel. Under David's rule, the Philistine cities faced a decline in power and influence. He strategically targeted their strongholds, weakening their control over the region. The Philistine cities, once dominant, lost their prominence over time. David's reign was instrumental in reducing the Philistine threat and asserting Israel's strength in the face of adversity, though there is no record that he directly took on Gaza. As Gaza was the southernmost Philistine city, furthest removed from Jerusalem and the Israelite heartland, it might have been less involved in the wars with Israel than the other Philistine cities. After David's time Gaza is mentioned later in the Bible as well. Not less than three prophets prophesy about God's judgment on Gaza, Amos, Zephaniah, and Zechariah. Gaza remained the most important of the Philistine cities, though it lost its Philistine character sometime in the Old Testament period. In the 4th century BC it was an important outpost of the Persian Empire. Alexander the Great laid siege to Gaza and had one of the most difficult fights of his military career here. In another notable nod to modern times, the soldiers of Gaza used an extensive network of tunnels to harass Alexander's army. It took him 100 days to breach the walls of Gaza and conquer the city. The further history of Gaza has many highs and lows. In the 1947 United Nations Partition Plan, Gaza was assigned to be part of an Arab state in Palestine but was occupied by Egypt following the 1948 Arab-Israeli War. Gaza's growing population was augmented by an influx of refugees fleeing or expelled from nearby cities, towns and villages that were captured by Israel. In 1957, Egyptian President Gamal Abdel Nasser made a number of reforms in Gaza, 
which included expanding educational opportunities and the civil services, providing housing, and establishing local security forces. Gaza was occupied by Israel during the 1967 Six-Day War following the defeat of the Egyptian army. Frequent conflicts have erupted between Palestinians and the Israeli authorities in the city since the 1970s. The times of enmity between Israel and Gaza from 3,000 years ago, have returned. The descendants of Israel are facing a new people in Gaza again. This time their ethnicity is Arab, but ironically through a historical coincidence the name of the Philistines has been transferred to the modern-day Palestinians.